Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Jensen. It is, uh, what is it, Thursday, uh, March, I think it's 19th, first day of spring. Um, working on your <laughs> new school adventure here with uh, Food for um, Singles and Creative Foods. So uh, this is new to me and I'm sure it's uh, very new to you. So we will figure this out together. I just want to let you know that um, obviously I'm teaching a hands-on course and it requires a lot of, <laughs> you know, uh, food ingredients to make a lot of the labs. Um, if you look at the syllabus, you'll notice that 75% of your um, grade is going to come from labs. Now, if we were in school, obviously we'd be making those things in class. However, um, <clears throat> due to the current circumstances, we're going to try to make some of these at home, but maybe not as many as classes that I've had in the high school do. But we'll be flexible. We'll work together on this. Um, we are going to kind of drill down to just some of the basic elements of some of the labs. And I think that it's going to be a process. So I'm asking you to hang in there. And please reach out to me if you have questions, but I want to be um, creating uh, assignments that are doable, that you can not only make, but you can also share with your family or families. So the beauty of maybe not having um, class here at the high school or at our high school is that you can actually make these at home and share these with your family. And so there is not only um, practical experience in making this and learning from that, but it's also sharing um, what you've made with your family. So it really can give you some instant gratification as far as if things turned out. The thing I've always told my students over the years is that this, uh, uh, Th these classes are all something that is either giving you new experiences or building on something you already know. So I don't want you to think that everything you do has got to be perfect and everything's got to be exact because I will tell you, I have been um, a, a cook. I've been a chef for many years before I became a teacher in that there were many things that uh, I didn't do well with. But you know what? I had the mindset that I wanted to learn from any mistakes I made and just learn how to make things better. And I think if you have that same type of growth mindset that during this process, you're going to figure out um, what maybe uh, are things that you want to do again and what are things you maybe change. So cooking is something that is never a process that has an end point. Um, if you ask any good chef out there, they're constantly working to improve their skill set and improve ways and find ways to make things new and interesting and make things consistently turn out. So through the time we are going to spend together with this online format or distance learning, I'm going to ask you to please again reach out to me if you have questions or concerns. We will share as much information as we can as it becomes readily available. Um, but know that the assignments are going to be due and that you will have kind of time frames to get those done. I want to be flexible, but also have some hard deadlines, which activities need to be completed in a timely manner. So um, it's hard to create a one size fits all for everybody in every situation, but just know that I'm willing to work with you. So please reach out. Let me know if you have questions. Okay. Again, I'm Mr. Jensen. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.